welcome to a new episode of Cyberpunk 2077 on the Streamcat channel. This is already part 3 and looking forward to it. We just went uh, well, to our own apartment, so I'm really looking forward to explore a bit more in the world of Cyberpunk 2077. Alright, we just uh, woke up and we can meet with Jackie. And look at our weapon stash. So, this is our weapon stash. So, this is our inventory. We have some, uh, this is our clothes. Soya paste. Okay. Okay, I think uh, we should meet with uh, Jackie. The Ripper Dog. Regina Jones is calling. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later V. Okay, people know to find me. I can read that message from Regina Jones right away. Hey V, Regina Jones here. I've heard you're looking for work in Watson, so... Happens I'm one of its main employers. If you don't want to waste those talents of yours, check the gigs I sent you. Do good work and there's much more where that came from. I'll be in touch. Ha! Huh. We just... Uh, <laughs> we didn't have any pants. Okay, now we have pants. Yes? So, looking for Jackie. Piece of shit, come on! Oh, no, no, no. It's just not. Wait, you mean 14 a day? Look at Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How about a round or two? Okay, this is uh, Coach Fred. And How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? So where did you get him? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal, and a tumor mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Okay. I don't know, do you know the movie called Chappie? That's, uh,. Bit, uh, we lose. Okay, how's it going? How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch. Take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Okay. Well, why not? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Oh. One hell of a punch there, Jim. Have you thought of monetizing? I can Okay, I, I think I, I did him, but talk to the coach. Okay. What you got on sale? You got for sale. Only top shelf gear. Okay, here we can buy some Kunai. Increases weapon attack speed by 0.3. Increases crit damage by 10%, the Scorch. White Nook increases hit chance by 7. The Cold Shirt increases damage by 7. Okay, I think we're going to buy some health here. Confirmed. 
Okay, we're going to sell some junk for twelve uh, dollars. Why not? Okay. How about these you fights? Something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. You want to oh, get I rich? Get you want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, you gotta make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. And when you take home the pot, manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kaboom. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. All right, so we can uh, join some uh, boxing fights. Go to the fight in Kabuki. Why not? in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, cyber psychosis, myth or reality. So, here are we going outside. Talk to Jack. Man of the hour. <laughs> Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite. Just wait. Ah, there's Jackie. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. There's just something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass job. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coupe. So, what's the gig? You meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. It's okay, so, wait, why me? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. And my face is yesterday's news. Our Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a leader of his own. <laughs> Not really, actually. Not really. No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nick the two for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, 
He's biz. Gracias, a Dios. Soy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Okay. You can call your active vehicle to your current location with V. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Okay, let's go. Let's feel this factory new ride. Item will spot the package today. Because your life is worth it. Thank you. Let's see. Stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. Okay, so we uh, are going to meet Dexter. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Hello, Night City. I'm Jillian Jordan with N54 News. And this is your local latest. The NCPD has urged caution when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted oh, with malware. I'm going too far. Police experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware failure hey, and, in extreme cases, even death. In this response is better. to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has... Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Okay, there might be some valuable containers. Okay. Wait, what's this? I have to do It's pretty crowded here. Eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. What are you? Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes? Oh, yeah? I'm trying to need Misty's story again. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Okay, so we're going to meet with the river. Because I am. Always. Makes for easy see. living. <laughs> pet. Okay, I got pet. A giddy. It's a... bald cat. <laughs> Ripper Dog. Though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure which can only be performed by qualified specialists. Ripper Dogs. There are several Ripper Dogs operating throughout Night City, offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy the new abilities. Okay, sounds great. Vicky, surprise every old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Okay, let's uh, ask him about uh, Dexter Deshawn. Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But, something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Okay, looking for Need the upgrades. Need but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. 
Hey, you wants the job's done. Because I don't have the money. Quit crying, Vic. <laughs> I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Of course. Okay. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Okay, we're going to make some uh, cybernetic upgrades. Let's see how that goes. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. Okay. Check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Okay, cyberware. Cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities which can improve your combat compatibility and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a comic practice in 27-7, installation of cyberware is still an evasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Only specialists known as Ripper Dogs are trusted to install cyberware safely. Okay. The ocular system and hands. So, first, the ocular system, the eyes. The Kenoshi optics. It enhances your vision. Okay. All right. And some hands. Plastic co-processor co increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons. Directly links your user's optical implant to the weapon system, offering real-time data tracking. Right. Okay, I think we have about it. Mark one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Okay, let's place the arm. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. He's gonna chop off my arms or... Feel anything? Feels like I'm in a Play by dentist. play, though. Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Ooh. Lights out for a minute, all right? Oh, that's scary. He's really doing something with her eyes now. Let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. Ooh. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? That's it. More dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Okay, scanning people. Scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information. Such as how strong an enemy might be, or who is in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled net runner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. 
Hey, hold on. Yeah, comes in handy. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. SCPD database access grant. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Okay, a database of wanted persons. A database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner. Since all are wanted dead or alive, the methods you use to claim your reward are timely up to you. Hey. <laughs> it auto worked like a charm. Now Ooh. draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Okay, draw the weapon. Oh yeah. Okay, what about the virus? How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Oh. Thanks, Vic. Good to know. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What's, what's what am this? I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Okay. Thanks. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. All right. Going back to Jackie, because he already was messaging what well, it took so long. NC residents. That's uh, really handy. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. We're gonna meet with Dex. But first, Regina Jones is calling v, us. listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber-psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber-psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet mm -hmm. to the brain. How's it going? If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Okay, incapitate enemies. There are various ways to incapitate enemies without getting enough lethal takedowns, quick hacks, and weapons. MP grenades and some combat gadgets. If you a give a weapon, combat catcher or a quick hack deals non-lethal damage will be mentioned in the description. Okay, but first we need to... But you are not the master of the uh, What? You gotta take a piss? Not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation? Meet with Dex. That's our car. In the sky.
You blind? Just to run. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. Huh. <laughs> Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? How they remember you, that's all that counts. Uh, Mr. Nobody's don't survive in Night City. Or is this some sort of test? Hello? I'm going to take the first one. It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Alright, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Why meet me? Why the show? Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Okay, the job. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. That's a death no, sentence. No problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. B? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Okay, Maelstrom. What's the issue? What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot the shard. Okay, take the shard. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Okay, who's the woman? Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. 
Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Send it now. Okay, did Klein tell me about her? Klein? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. No, oh, I need I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Okay, get out. Alright, we got a new job, we just got a fix of uh, our eye and hand and some intel with the NCPD and we got a new job. So this leaves us at the end of the third episode of Cyberpunk 277. Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe and I see you in the next video with this new mission. Thank you for watching.